Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the world of muscle. Uh, basically, this series of superhero wrestlers beating the crap out of each other. Uh, they all have crazy themes and they go to extreme. Uh, I really like this series because it was uh, released in the early 80s. It had no articulation but high detail figures. And uh, just for, for fun's sakes, I decided to uh, take a look at a bunch of them at random. Just kind of like what they did with those old... Uh, uh, blind bags and things that they used to provide. They came in 4 packs, 10 packs, and 24 packs. Um, but I will be just picking red 10 at random just for fun and keep this keep this video format a little short. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at some of these guys. Alright, first up is Muscle Man number 186, Kenda Man C. Basically, he's one of the headless guys with a cannon for an arm. So, you know, best uh, best to take care of that real quick. Uh, I really like this guy. He's very simple. Uh, just kind of, uh, just kind of, I don't know, he kind of looks like Iron Man without a head. Um, I don't know. I don't know why that, that makes me happy. All right, next up is Muscle Man number 220, the Devil Magician. Ooh, I can only assume that name comes from some sort of deep character story arc in the mangas, uh, but it gets totally lost on English audiences, so take that for what, what you will. Uh, as of now, he's just a guy in a featureless mask and just one pauldron, and his arm kind of sticking out as if he's waiting to uh, hail a taxi. So, um, I, actually, I think he might even have, uh, a, have his arm back for a, a little suitcase. I can, can you imagine that? Taxi, taxi, I, I need to ta take a take a trip to the airport. Next up is Muscle Man 217, Kiniku Man Mariposa B, uh, which is one of the guys that's uh, turning sideways. Um, I can only assume that this is one of those characters that's in like an action pose, in which case he's getting punched in the face really hard. Um, but besides that, uh, he's got some really cool chainmail linked armor on his legs here, as well as some knee pads. I think that uh, vest is a little too tight for him, but it, I don't think it really, really matters at this point. Uh, this character is basically... Uh, oh, look at that, look at that side angle there. This is basically based off of the main character, uh, Kaniku Man, uh, the muscle man in this series. Uh, basically, he's a buffoon, and he gets beat up quite a lot in the series, but he's uh, he, he's ever... He's ever persistent, so uh, he manages to make it out in the end. Good for him, but uh, he gets beat up a lot. So hats off to you for ma actually making a character in which he's beat up. So that's fun, right? Right. Are you ready to rock? Yeah! All right, this is Mr. Barracuda, number 223. Uh, basically, he looks like a rock star. Uh, I mean, look at that. He's got the same kind of uh, f featureless mask as the last guy, uh, but I, I'm digging his little spandex and what I can only assume is uh, superhero boots. Uh, he's kind of rocking there. Um, in fact, uh, I forgot to mention the whole reasoning behind the name on the back here. Uh, these are all the different brands that came to make the original Kanika Man Kinshi figures. Um, I'll put all their names up on the screen now. Uh, basically, they uh, patented the molds, they still have rights to the molds, which is why we can't have any of the modern ones now, because they still hold the rights to it, even all these years later. So that's why uh, series like Super 7 are making their own. So uh, hopefully with any luck, they'll make some really awesome guys like this, you know, some really cool, some space luchador rock star dudes. I mean, that would be awesome, right? Now this guy's interesting. He's number 221, New Sunshine, uh, and he's one of the brick figures, uh, brick characters, I suppose I should say. He's basically a character made of bricks and really hard to punch, and he's always really so happy, which is why they call him Mr. Sunshine. Uh, there's a variety of different fig figures that kind of fit in his same theme. One's literally a brick wall, another one's a U brick wall. Uh, another one has like a little thing in his chest that pops out, which is super rare. Another one's a top, spinning top. Um, so, needless to say, Mr. Sunshine is one of the more popular characters. Uh, one of the more popular characters of the Kinky Man series, or at least what I can gather, he would be my favorite if I were to uh, randomly find him because he's just so jolly and just so random. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a brick house. All right, next up we have number 218, Warman's C. I try not to say that too fast, all right? So basically, he is a crazy cybernetic alien dude. Um, he looks a little bit like a football player, to be honest, but he's got some sort of crazy thing going on with his eye and mouth, and 
I don't know, is, is that like a lens going on? I, I love the detail that they suggest, but then they also leave away. It's kind of cool. Uh, his body is just kind of plain, nothing really to go on about. Uh, but he's got some rock on pilgrim boots there and um, just just over overdid it on the on the elbow pads there. Uh, you think you've got bigger ones there, pal? I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so he's kind of a cool looking little character and I'd assume uh, one of the bad guys. And I can only assume he's one of the bad guys. Um, at least he would be for me. Kind of like a Terminator cop off in the corner, just waiting for uh, just waiting for his move, you know? All right, next up is number 210, Naked Man Soldier B. Basically, he's just another one of those guys that's looking over his shoulder as if uh, something just whizzed by his head really fast and he was like, what was that? Um, but yeah, he's got some really loose jeans on and it's just something that I haven't seen on any of the other really, on any of the characters. Um, I don't really think that's military issue. Um, but yeah, he's a very interesting little character. It looks like he's doing the dab almost. Yeah, doing the dab. <laughs> Oh god, that kind of dates me, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, kind of fun. Um, not much to say about that, but so let's move on. All right, now this guy is interesting. This one's Ashurahman's childhood, number one ninety nine, uh, and basically he's supposed to be the child version of one of the other characters that's later in the series. Um, yeah, basically he's a guy with six arms and all the fighting power that you can muster, but. In this form, he's just a child, so he doesn't know any better. He's very much afraid from all the other fighters, but you know what? Given the right circumstances, I'm sure he'd come out on top. I really like the sculpting on all the hands, just all in kind of action poses. You can kind of uh, figure out what he's trying to do in kind of like an ambiguous way. Uh, as of now, he's just kind of like squirming around. It's like somebody's trying to tickle him. Don't tickle me! Ah, ah, don't tickle me! Ah. Um, yeah, so that aside, he's one of the coolest characters so far. That is, until you see this guy, Mr. Tide A. Uh, basically, he is a blender. Uh, number 171, uh, just, just kind of goes off the deep end here. Uh, just kind of goes off on the weird tangent of how far can we take this man thing? You know, can we basically have an inanimate object man? So here we go, here's Blender Man for all your intensive purposes. I'd only assume that he can open up his lid and just chuck you right on in. It looks about the same size, or at least seriously maim you. Uh, I can only assume that that in the middle there is what uh, is the little spinning blade, um, because uh, otherwise it's a really weird decoration to have right there, you know? Uh, but yeah, he has uh, little spandex shorts too. Nothing going on in the back here, just more sculpting for the hands. Just I love that sculpting for, uh, for everything. Alright, last but not least is a figure known as Atlantis, number 161. He is some sort of weird sea creature dude who just came out of the ocean to kick your butt. Um, I really like that his spandex here is now just a torn loincloth and that he's all kinds of scaly and just kind of, you know, gross looking. You know, he's spotty, but he's also just so muscular, he's just ready to kick your butt. I just love the bug eye fish on top. It's just really charming if that's the right word for it, I guess. Um, yeah, you got the spine going all the way down his back there, which really proves uh, quite difficult for the trademark on the back, but whatever. Uh, very cool little character. This is this is what I wanted Aquaman to be, really. So this is just some sort of crazy fish monster. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's all I have to share with you today. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll get more of these random characters out to you, uh, hopefully uh, soon. So yeah, until then, bye.